On today's stream, I watched even more of the creepiest ghost sighting videos on YouTube. Now, I have done plenty of this, so you probably know the deal by now. But if not, let me fill you in. There's this channel called Bizarre Bub, and they compile all the ghost sighting videos they can find on the internet. And now, as someone who was a ghost skeptic, who's recently became a little bit more of a ghost believer, I watch these videos and try and work out whether I believe each of them is real or fake. And that leads us to some incredibly creepy and inexplicable watches and some really ridiculous, silly ones. You never know what you're gonna get with this series, but all of them are cool ghost sighting videos nonetheless. So, if you do enjoy, please feel free to subscribe. As I said, I do this plenty over on my Twitch, and I would love for you to follow there so you can always catch them live. But if for whatever reason you can't, sub to this channel so you never miss any uploaded VODs here. Anyways, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. My voice is going, and I wanna watch this video before it completely disappears, so let's watch this. On April 16 of 2023, at around 12 a.m., a man named Jacob wakes up to a strange noise out- There is a man named Jacob. This is the scariest thing of all, as that is a bad name. ...outside his room. Trembling with fear, he gets out of bed and encounters are something that- Are you enjoying the consistency of my little pinworms? We are starting the revolution. Ringworm and I, come you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts. I'm muting your ass. Shut up, man. Shut up, man. You suck, man. That's my, that's my impression of uh, of Red Dead 2. Lumbago, shut up, man. You suck, man. <clears throat> Not you, though, RNN. Oh, wow. Two whole years. Wow, we. So grateful that you've been Sorry, here, I, I, my voice really hurts, but I promise you, I am actually. Also, congrats on beating that guy up. Thank you. Speaking of which, I I haven't watched Bizarre Bub since I fought. And, oh, sex. Anyway, I haven't watched Bizarre Bub since I fought. And now I kind of expect him to sound like Chills because I hung out with Chills a little bit at the fight. I kind of expect him to be like number 15. You know, I never did my Chills impression for Chills. I probably should. I like to say I'm pretty good at it. And, like, I, 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 I hung out with Chills a little bit. But, uh, what else? Oh, also, um, so here's, here's a slightly more troubling thought. It, it stopped now, actually, which is, but for the days I was really sick, I was having anxiety dreams every night, but I had consistently the same anxiety dreams or the same topic. It was slightly different every time. But over the course of three nights, I dreamt six times because I did a lot of sleeping that I, I it was fight night and I just won my fight, but, uh, I had to go up and fight again. And I dreamt that six times. And each time, uh, one time it was Dakota, I had to fight him again. Because there was something wrong with the first fight. And then the second time I had to fight Alex Wasabi. And the third, I had to fight a kid from school that I used to know. And like the fourth time I was having to fight both Chris Reagan and William Hayes. Because we were similar weight. Because I was, I'd beaten Dakota and I had to beat both of them. So I was going to have to fight ten rounds and they'd do five rounds each. I was going to have to fight them both, like back to back. Uh, I just kept getting these weird anxiety dreams. I was like five minutes away from having to fight again. And I just wasn't prepared because I didn't know. But yeah, they, uh, so yeah, that was weird. Just kept getting these anxiety dreams about it. But anyway, my, you can hear my voice is like actually going. Uh, so we better get on with watching scary. It's extremely Sorry. unnerved. Now, not too long ago, I featured a video from Jacob, who you may remember as the man who inherited an old house and a creepy I, clown doll Pinworm, that oh. belonged to- lurking in the dark. My microbes in that shiz, wriggling in the bed sheets. Here is my creep- uh, No, I've skipped you, I've skipped you. I'll listen to you later, Pinworms, but we're listening to things right now. To his grandmother, the clown doll, known as Jeffrey, scares him. <laughs> He's called Jeffrey. Because of this, my name he keeps Jeffrey locked up my, in a separate my name room from him. But then one Shut night, up, well, something happens base that eagle, takes base Jacob eagle. out of his mind. It's close to midnight when a loud bang wakes him up. He hears a couple more noises before suddenly realizing that the sounds are coming from the room next to his where the clown doll was put. What happens I zoned next, out because of the eagle. Mind. It's close to midnight when a loud bang wakes him up. Oh, yo, Smithy, thank you for the eight months, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Here's a couple more noises before suddenly realizing that the sounds are coming from the room next to his Wait, no, sorry. out of his mind. It's close to midnight He's scared, okay. when a loud bang wakes him up. Okay. He hears a couple more noises. That's because you live in this creepy ass fucking house with like mold and shit. Look at the fucking damp. If I lived in a creepy ass house, I'd be scared. 
I'd be so fucking scared, man. Can you believe? Can you imagine that shit? I'd shit myself. I'd poo if I lived in a fucking creepy house like that. Right. When a loud bang. Right. Admittedly, bad turn of phrase because I just remembered the story, and that I promise you that was an accident. Yeah, again, I get it. Okay, guys, I shit myself the other day. Great, thanks, man. I I didn't even mean to fucking do that joke either. I was like an actual coincidence. Fuck's sake. Okay, well done, guys. Real comedians over here. Real fucking comedians in the chat. I get it. I shit myself. God, man. Wakes him up. Okay. Yeah, he hears yeah. a couple more noises before suddenly realizing that the sounds are coming from the room next to his, where the clown doll was put. Where fucking Jeffrey lives. What happens next scares the living daylights out of him. We established that Jeffrey was fake last time, by the way. So I, I'm already going in saying this one's probably fake, but we'll see. Take a look. Jeffrey could have been real, but I, I'm pretty sure he was fake. It was too. Like, yeah. Nah, man. Yeah, no, Jeff Jeffrey was pretty fake the first time. Like, he li leaves the room and when he walks back in, the head's pointing at him, but, like, either a cut or, like, someone just walking in the room when he wasn't in it. And, like, yeah, you know, this isn't fake. He's going to watch Simon Colby. No, I'm waiting for my collab with him to come out. Okay. Jeffrey's just sat there on the ground. Normal door in Prague. Okay. <laughs> Someone's shitting on Prague in the chat. God, this house is so fucking creepy. It looks like it's ripped out of a fucking Half-Life game. Fuck off. It's got them Gmod textures, you know what I mean? Yeah, same shit. Easily faked. I don't know. As Jacob checks it's the just room too, where the sounds were It's just too good to be true. It's the second time this doll's managed to move its own head. I was like, I don't know. In my experience with ghosts and like shit that I believe to be real, they ain't that fucking like they they don't tend to pull off such crazy shit. Coming from a loud noise is heard from downstairs. He looks, especially not more than once. You know, like it, like I or. or, or Enough that you could catch it on camera, you know what I mean? I don't know, it just seems too good to be true. Nervously down the staircase, when suddenly, the sound of footsteps going up the stairs is heard. Yet, as he looks closely, no one appears to be there. He then as quickly... he looks closely, I don't think you need too close of a fucking look to see that no one appears to be on those fucking stairs. He's like, as he looks very closely, you can actually see that there isn't actually anyone there. It's John Cena, isn't it? It's John Cena is on the stairs. Silly. Come on now. Yet, as he looks closely, no one appears to be there. He then quickly turns around to see the door opening slowly, showing Jeffrey, whose head is now in a different position, and yeah. initially seen facing the wall. The clown is now staring at the door. And Jacob yeah. quickly ends the video here and locks himself in his room until the following morning. After this night, he was absolutely certain that Jeffrey was haunted. Afraid it might happen again, or something worse may occur, he decides to move Jeffrey into the basement. Um, okay. Another update. You know, I think I... I'm... Yeah, creepy things don't thrive in basements or anything. He's gonna hate it there. I'm definitely gonna be moving Jeffrey. Like, with whatever happened last night, I don't want him near me. Um, I'm gonna be putting him in the basement, so I'm gonna follow up. This is the result so far. I'm gonna leave him here for now, but I think I'm gonna put a camera here. Okay, man. Jeffrey's still here, so 
So Why is he facing the wall? Sorry, I zoned out. Why is he making him face the wall? Like he's like being punished. It's like on the naughty boy step. You know, I think I, I'm definitely going to be moving Jeffrey. Like with whatever happened last night, I don't want him near me. Um, I'm going to be putting him in the basement. So I'm going to follow up. This is the result so far. I'm going to leave him here for now. But I think I'm going to put a camera here. Jeffrey's still here. So we're going to see if there's anything I miss. Now, Kay. unlike before, Jacob will he keep an even eye on Jeffrey. He doesn't even explain it. He just... Fucking makes him look at the wall because I guess he's been like a naughty boy. By placing a security camera in front of him, if anything happens, he'll be notified immediately via a notification sent by the camera. I was saying Rambo. Is he in chat or? Oh, he's in chat. Hi, Rambo. Hi, hi. Thank you for the 28 months, man. Appreciate it. Fast 28? Forward. Have you really been subbed to me that long? Fuck me. It's crazy, man. Have we known each other that long or were you subbed before we even knew each other? Did, Rambo, did you used to watch me? You used to, you used to, you used to watch Lil Old Me. Is that what you're saying? Or, or, or have we just been friends that long now? I don't even know no more. <coughs> we actually might have been friends that long now. Two years and a bit. Sounds about right. I think we've known each other that long. That's crazy, man. Thanks for being my friend for all that time. To a few nights later, and he's notified of movement inside the basement. He checks the camera's live feed and sees that the camera is moving side to side. Now this didn't Whoa. alarm him as he forgot that the heater on which the camera was placed on top has a timer that turns it on and makes it oscillate. The okay. heater had simply turned on during this time. But as he this continues to watch, this didn't alarm him, guys. He got over this. That terrifies the him to his core. Watch. Jack. Yes. What's about to terrify him to his core? That camera oscillates away. And yeah, he's gonna be looking as like he's gonna move. It's been isn't a he? long minute, but finally able to catch a live and resub UP. Oh, thank you, Vol Ghost. Yeah, like when the camera pans away and it pans back, he's gonna be looking a different way. Which is again just like clever camera work from. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. Cool that it did it on camera. But it's like a clever camera trick from the guy, isn't it? Because, like, he's definitely just chosen that to be the thing that happens. Uh, oh, sorry. Like, like he's obviously came up with, oh, I forgot that it's on a timer that sets it off. So then it's, like, it's not his fault that it moves. Yeah, I'm just... I don't know. The fact that it moved on... That made me jump. Holy fuck. It's not what I expected. As the camera oscillates from side to side, that, the okay. clown's arm eerily moves on. As a creep, I like this. is my favorite video this guy's made Rambu with the, the clown doll. supports the pinworm revolt. Bubbling, doubling, toiling, and troubling your pantaloons. Painting the town brown. Thank you, pinworms, for making everyone shit. Either way, uh, I find it really interesting that... Uh, like, don't get me wrong, I still think this, I think he's made too many fake videos, although this one's the most believable, I think he's made too many fake videos for this not to be fake, and it's not too, like, difficult to fake, but a fishing line, uh, blowing out the bulb is harder, but it, it's not impossible, like, but, you know, again, if this guy's had two videos do pretty well so far, like, you know, uh, but, <sighs> this one's cool, I like this one, it's a creepy video, it's On sick. Its own. Seconds later, the light bulb blows out in a loud explosion, making the basement completely dark. Following that, a strange voice is heard whispering something that's hard to make out. I, I Not much else happens that, after this, but everything that happened before was enough for Jacob to decide that Jeffrey should remain locked up in the basement. Jeffrey continues to be recorded in case he moves again. For now, no further updates have been posted by Jacob, but until then, this video remains a mystery. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's low key creepy, but I, I'm I'm on the side that he's he, he faked it. Let's watch more ghosts. This next video comes from a man whose entire home is filled with Bibles and other <laughs> religious artifacts that he worships on the daily. If he's not praying, 
then he's most likely sitting at his piano playing a song with verses from the Bible. What does he do for a job? He'd be a great, like, monk. He should become a monk, I think. Pretty much everything he has or does in this apartment is based on something religious. Christ, that is like, that is like obsessive at that point. That's, that's crazy. That's wild. That's like creepy. Different. Oh, now you to... might be thinking that this man is simply devoted to his religion. While that's partly true, the main reason as to why he prays a lot has to do with something completely different. Oh really? As it turns out, this man has been experiencing strange happenings in his home. Ever since visiting his father's gravesite at the cemetery, he can't shake the feeling that something has followed him home. Whatever it might be, he's deeply afraid of it. For this reason, he's been praying and singing religious songs more so than usual as an attempt to get rid of the <laughs> what evil- What is more so than usual? How is there enough time in the day? ...entity that now lives in his home. One day, while taking a nap, he wakes up to a loud noise in the living room. He grabs his phone and records this. Bueno, estoy grabando este video porque oh. estoy tratando de dormir, pero acabo de escuchar un golpe duro. Something's up for a Por allá en la sala, entonces decidí grabar porque hace días que se viene presentando. Cosas <coughs> extrañas en el apartamento, son las cuatro. cuatro ok. Y cuarto, cuatro, tres y cuatro de la tarde, entonces me parece muy extraño que hasta ahora están sucediendo como cosas raras. It is very bright to be 4.15 a.m. You got a light on? I think his house is like filled with religious shit and then like a poster for the Matrix. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like his favorite movie. Like he like fucks with religion heavy, but he like also fucks with the Matrix. <laughs> that's his other thing. Like like religion number one, that's why he's got all the stuff, but like like a little little bit of Matrix, you know. We, we, he likes Keanu Reeves. Oh no, there's another poster over there. Never mind. It's a very nice little apartment, by the way. I like this. Yeah, put all the creepy, like, religious shit in there. I'd fuck with it. Like, like, this is really cool. Feeling slightly unnerved, the man sees a set of eating utensils swaying side to side as though a strong breeze. You can call them spoons. That's just some spoons. You can call them spoons. You don't, you don't need to call them eating utensils. They you can just call them spoons. These had passed by, but as the man points out, all windows are closed shut. Naturally, he was yeah. stricken with fear, but okay. not as much as the next incident, as what happens then leaves him terribly shaken up. I'm, I'm like quite tempted to believe this man. Like, don't really know why. A few days after this occurrence, the man uploads a video in which he appears to be deeply distressed. Watch. He does seem deeply distressed. Oh, he's like stressed, bro. He's like, he, he, he just, he doesn't even seem scared. He just seems like pressed, you know? Oh my God, hiccups, man. In the name of Jesus, I ordain that you go. In the name of Jesus, I ordain that you go. I'm curious if you could see a, a key get depressed. Because that would convince me. If you could see the keys getting depressed when it's making that noise, that'd be pretty convincing. Because that's very hard to fake. 
No tienes derecho de estar aquí. Ordeno que te vas. Sound. Ordeno que te vas en el nombre de Jesús. Oh, you do see it, the price. You you actually see the keys, the price. Oh, that's weird. That's not like keyboards. That's quite hard to do on a keyboard, right? Like pianos, the like mechanical pianos exist, but there's quite like hefty mechanisms that make those work. You just uh, self pressing playing keyboard. I wonder if it's like a self playing keyboard. So this is what I mean, right? Like this is a full piano though. This is because it requires quite a lot of mechanism to do that. I'm not quite convinced keyboards exist that can do that. You know? Pianos, yes, but keyboards, no. And they're very expensive. Yeah, you can definitely like pre-record it playing notes, but yeah, I don't think you can make it... <coughs> Yeah, that's, that's hard to do. And he gave a good look around the room as well. Like, I don't think anyone could be hiding to do that. That's weird. That's weird. That is, you, you. That gets pressed. There's no way of arguing that. Appearing to be fed up with the supposed spirit, the man tells the spirit to leave at once. But after having done so, a piano key is seemingly pressed by an unseen force. That's the man very quickly weird. rushes out of the room in a panic frenzy. Could still be faked by pulling a string. It is the last key, potentially, but I, I don't know. There's something about this guy's overt religion that tells me that he wouldn't lie about this sort of thing. He just doesn't strike me as... I don't know. I don't know. And you know... They do argue that de demons, I'm not saying it is a demon, but if demons exist, which I, which, which I'm not sure whether demons exist. I, I was at first only believing in ghosts, but then I don't want to spoil the Sam and Colby video I was in, but I, we had, well, that place, look, that place was supposedly haunted by demons and, and there was something that supposedly would happen. Now, you know what? I'll tell this story. It's been a while. I'm sure they won't mind. As we were leaving, we were told we had to cleanse with holy water because it's a place haunted by demons. Supposedly, if a demon wants to lash itself onto you and follow you wherever you're going, uh, it, it can. And if you holy water yourself, it, it will stop it. But this this is when I went and filmed with Sam and Colby, by the way. But supposedly, when you put the holy water, you put the holy water on the back of your neck. Right? Uh, Tommy already leaked. Yeah, but what he might not have leaked is I put the, we all put the holy water on our necks, right? And then we stepped back inside because we forgot to get the thumbnail. So we went back inside, and. I, we went back inside, and the instant we went back inside, I felt my neck start to burn, right? Where I'd put the holy water. All started burning, right? And Sam and Colby apparently had been told when they were given the water, and I just said to them, oh, does anyone else's neck, like, burn? But dead seriously. I mean, I meant this very wholeheartedly. And apparently they had been told, which, by the way, I was not there when this had happened, so this is no in no way, like placebo i didn't know that this should happen 
supposedly if a demon had latched onto you and basically if the holy water is actively doing something like it's actively fending something off it apparently will create a burning sensation it will, it, you won't feel it if it doesn't do anything if you're if you're fine and you put holy water on and there's nothing trying to latch onto you anyway you just won't feel it <coughs> but if it begins to burn apparently it is actively stopping or has stopped something latching onto you which means supposedly a demon did try and latch onto me as we were as that and i was the only one who felt that I was the only one but supposedly yeah demon tried to latch onto me as we were leaving so uh so that that was what kind of like made me go it's a little bit weird i definitely felt burning on my neck like there was no arguing that you know there was absolutely no arguing that that i my way my placebo my, my way of testing whether it's placebo would be pouring the same holy water on my neck like now at my home and just seeing if it burns whether i'm just like because it, it isn't just water it's got like some herbs in it like it smells funny so it could be like oh shit demon or it could be my skin is ever so slightly allergic and it, it was a slight irritation reaction but I, 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 it, yeah, I would be curious to do it at my home and see what happens. Because, uh, yeah, it could just be allergies. But, weird. Still weird, nonetheless. Uh, but there was other, there was fucking other things. Did it turn red? Not that I know of, no. And it was like hot to the touch. Like it wasn't just a burning, sorry. This wasn't just like a psychic, this wasn't just like, oh, my, my brain is making this up. Like I got those guys. I went feel my neck. Like it's it's hot. Like and they it was hot to the touch. Sorry, I, I forgot to mention that. Like you could feel my neck was hot. That was that was the weird part as well. Forgot about that. But I don't believe it went red or anything. No, could have just been a sunburn. What from the glorious sun we have here in the UK? I don't think so. I'm gonna be for real with you. In the middle of winter, it was. I'm going to say not. Uh, but yeah, weird. I, I, I've i never... Uh, but either way, why did I mention this? Oh, this is it. They say demons will target the most religious because the goal of demons in possessing people and stuff is to try and infiltrate the Vatican, apparently, to, uh, you know, control the world through religion or some shit. Supposedly, this is what... It's what the Pope says. I'm not religious, so I don't really... But, but apparently, this is what the Pope says. So, um, apparently, it will target the most religious of, of, of people. Not that I'm religious, by the way. That I, I'm not saying I'm the religious one. Sorry. I meant that um, in this video where the keys pressed down, this guy's obviously very religious. And then this thing happens. I don't know. I'm just more inclined to believe that something weird is happening to a very religious man. You know? Instead of just like a dude. That's what I'm Supposed saying. spirit. The man tells the spirit to leave at once, but after having done so, a piano key is seemingly pressed by an unseen force. The man quickly rushes out of the room in a panic frenzy. It was now clear to him that something was provoking him. But as if that wasn't obvious enough, four days later, this happens. It's three in the morning when the man and his girlfriend, who was staying the night, wake up to strange noises. What happens Why next? Why are these back? Oh, they're they're in a VC. Did those pop up? Okay, I guess we'll turn those off. Leaves them highly unsettled. Take a look. I had bubbles for a VC I was in the other stream, and I guess I just never turned them off. Bueno, voy a grabar este video porque nuevamente se están escuchando en el apartamento ruidos. Son las 3 de la mañana con 16 minutos y... Oh, he's with his girlfriend. Sorry, I thought that, that voice was the ghost. Shattering. Oh, 
Could be an intruder. It could, but I think surely you'd you'd see him. In the name of Jesus, manifest it. En el nombre de Jesús, manifiéstate. Oh. Fuck's sake. He's got a fucking poster for Annabelle in his house. That makes me more skeptical of the guy. You know what I thought? He was just like some like crazy religious dude. But like, that would freak me the fuck out. I'd have to, I would be forced to take that down if I lived in a fucking haunted house. I'm now a little bit more skeptical because like, you're a fan of haunted movies that makes me a little bit more skeptical but still the piano press is really hard to do so i'm like still don't quite know how you did that I must admit manifiestate Manifiestate en el nombre de Jesús. Te ordeno que te manifiestes. Do you think like ghosts give a shit if you tell them in like in Jesus's name? Like, do you think do you think he's like I command you to reveal yourself in the name of Jesus, so you have to do it. Do you think that really matters to them? It's like smash glass, isn't it? Oh, all the cupboards are open. Eagle, thank you for the quid. Worm, you can talk while you're being digested, shush. Bro was thirsty. 24 months, woe sub to the manifold. Appreciate it, thank you so much. Do you have any pets? Uh, I doubt it. If he's, if he's strange, guys, you way. know when you ask these guys, <laughs> guy have any pets? I think if the guy had pets, he would go. That was just my pet. Look, when someone suspects that there is a ghost in their house, and you go, well, what if it's just this obvious answer? Assume that they probably don't have that thing. You know, like if they go, oh, well, it could just be their dog who opened all those cupboards and threw a glass on the ground. It's like probably, probably not. Probably not. If he's if he's very scared by this, I'm going to assume he doesn't have something that he knows about that is an easy explanation. You know what I mean? Wind chimes move on their own, and the kitchen appears to be ransacked. Yet according Hungry to the ghost, men, you know? no signs of forced entry were seen anywhere in the house. Further adding to the strangeness. The piano could be automatically playing. I very much doubt that. They're very expensive. The man says that his girlfriend felt very ill only minutes after this incident. Whether or not this had something to do with her sudden illness is unknown. But considering what happened Probably only days later, scared, the man can't help but think that the spirit was responsible for this. It's late at night, and the man is once again woken up by mysterious... God, this guy's really fucking this in it. Is captured. So what did he capture this one on? A fucking Blackberry? Why? What happened to the camera quality, my guy? It, it has been better than this. What I got a downgrade. Nothing. This is nothing so far. Okay, that was just an edited in noise. Okay. It's a lovely apartment, by the way. I really like this apartment.
You know, I really wanted to believe. I really fucking wanted to believe this guy. Never mind. It look it fucking added chromatic aberration in post. Fuck's sake, man. The piano key was such a perfectly subtle yet difficult thing to fake that I would believe. He he, he didn't have to push his luck, you know. I would have believed him. The kitchen, I, I didn't want to say it, but the kitchen was making me skeptical with all the all the all the doors open. Like, from what I understand, from what I've heard, like, it, I always hear this thing. It takes a lot of energy for ghosts to affect real life things. So you tend to find that, like, they'll, they'll knock over a small thing or, like, a, one door will open. It's very rare that, like, lots of doors will be open and they'll trash a whole room. Like, that doesn't really happen, you know? But... So disappointed, man. The piano key was perfect. Who says all ghosts have malicious intent? I don't think they do. No one says that. Without warning, the sound of footsteps charging a full throttle can be heard heading towards the man before being attacked by an unseen presence. Scared stiff, the man stands in silence while- Scared what? Ugh. Shouldn't make you stiff. It's disgusting, dude. Don't tell us about your fucking penis. Trying to process what just happened, he then picks up his phone and ends the video here. Yeah, fuck Although off. undoubtedly strange, viewers find it stranger that the man doesn't turn on the lights in most of these incidents. But the reason for this, according to him, is that the lights for most of the rooms are located at the main entrance, which he stays away from, as he's too scared to approach. Yeah, Whether fuck off, convenient. Not, the man continues to pray and read passages from the Bible in the hopes that doing so... Oh, he's on get TikTok. No fucking wonder. This is all just TikTok fucking bait. Strange present. The piano key was so good. This guy, oh, he fell off. I really, I, I wanted to believe him, you know. Sense ...that haunts him. In early January of 2023, a woman named Nancy Malkin had a very strange encounter with something in her child's bedroom. Nancy says that the reason she had went up to her son's bedroom in the first place someone, was because yeah. she saw something quite unusual on the security camera that's placed in his room. She had woken up from a nap before looking over at the camera's live feed and seeing a strange orb flying around her son's toys. It would seem to zip around in a strange way and react to objects it touched as though it had a mind of its own. Oh, now, Nancy had been looking at this orb for quite some time. More than five minutes have passed since initially spotting the mysterious orb, and still, it continued to float around in the same spot. The reason I'm more inclined to believe this is because I feel like this is what you would do. Like, I feel like most people would post this and then do a video. Like, would post this and then post, like, another vi- I don't know how to explain it. But, like, post this and then post another video where they go in the room. It's like, look, guys. Like, here's the feed. I'm going to leave the room. Here's the feed. Look, it's flying around. And then I go in the room. Like, they wouldn't do one where they're in the room watching the feed in the room. Like... If it's also visible on that phone, yeah, that's pretty cool, but I don't know if it is. What if you can see it on the phone? Phone doesn't actually look 
all that much like it lines up is the problem now at one point nancy starts to communicate with the orb she tells it to touch her hand when something pretty interesting happens. The orb quickly moves away from her hand as though she had scared it. Nancy decides to leave this mysterious orb alone and call it a day. The orb continues to fly around the same spot even after she goes, but only minutes uh, later- Just calling it a day from there is a bit weird though. I'd have to call someone and be like, what the fuck do you think this is? Later, after rechecking the camera, the orb is no longer there. It's the fucking Will of the Wisp. So this is a, it's a Will of the Wisp. It's the will of the wisp right there. It has simply vanished. Ever since recording this, the orb hasn't shown itself again. Nancy believes that this mysterious orb might have been the spirit of a child as it kept floating around her son's toys. Perhaps it just wanted to play with them, as Nancy states. But whatever it might have been, she claims that this mysterious orb was intelligent as it responded to everything she did. To this day- That is weird. Uh, I mean, could be edited in. But, I don't know, something about this just makes me go, you know, because it's just like a cute little thing. And like, she never, I feel like when people fake these things, they do well and then they make a sequel where they're like, guys, the orb is back. But like, she just posted this one video. Nothing crazy happens. Just like an orb floats around some toys and like, I don't know, you know, it's just kind of like, yeah, maybe. I'm more inclined, this is the one I'm most inclined to believe today. Like the one where it's like, yeah, it could be. Could be a, that could be the spirit of a child. That, that, that's a thing you frequently hear. Like spirits of children like linger in the rooms of current children because they feel comfortable there. And like it's floating around toys, which makes sense. And it kind of interacts with her and then she speaks and it gets, I don't know. It's just like, yeah, it could be. I don't know. Maybe. I can't, hey, I, she part of me, I don't like, kind of like to think so because it's obviously a ghost of a dead kid. But at the same time, like, Kind of sweet that it's like harmless, you know, it's just a harmless little thing just trying to play with some toys. I don't know. She still questions what this ball of light was doing inside her son's bedroom. I think if it not coming back makes it more believable. Exactly, like her not doing a part two or anything like that. Like it just makes you go, huh? Maybe. Creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, no you can again. send them over Christ. to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, Let's get back to the video. Do you want kids, Jack? It's a very interesting question in the chat. Oh, I got deleted by mods. I mean, you're more, more welcome to ask. It's weird, weird timing. Speaking about like a de potentially dead kid. It's like, do you want kids? Uh, but yeah, I think so. I think I want to have some kids. I think I want to be pretty... Uh, or more off the internet by the time I have kids, though. I would want to... Uh, it seems to be personal. No, I get that, to be fair. Uh... Um, but uh, yeah, I think I'd be want to be more of it. Not not because I have an internet issue personally with the internet knowing about my kid, more so that I'd want to give them the opportunity to grow up away from the internet, and then when they get older, if they want to be on the internet, you know, and you know, do what I do, they're more than inclined to. I'll help them in every way I can. But you know, I want them to grow up away from the internet. Or at least have the choice to. I don't like when kids are thrust into the limelight, particularly. I, I I could show them when they're a baby, you know. Babies are pretty much unrecognizable by the time like they're like two. Like you can't you can't look at a two year old and then look at like you you show me five pictures of a baby and go and, and you give me a two year old and you give me five pictures of babies. You go which one of these babies is this two year old? Fucking fat chance I figure it out, you know. So I when maybe like when I have a kid I'll be like hey stream here's here's my kid, but like. I think, like, after it's, like, a once it's, like, not a baby anymore and it, like, has a semblance of being a, a human being and it's not just, like, a thing, then then it, it disappears from the internet, I think. Yeah, I think, I think that's the way I'd do it. There's an apartment in Poland where something very strange has been going on. The man who lives there claims that whenever he's by himself, he can't help but feel as though someone else is inside. When his roommates are gone and he has the place to himself so sorry. and going on. There's an apartment in Poland where something Poland. very strange okay. has been going on. The man who lives there claims that whenever he's oh, by himself, like he can't help but feel as though someone else is inside. Somebody's watching me and I got no privacy. Oh, I always feel like 
I learned a cool thing about that song yesterday, but I can't be asked. When his roommates are gone and he has the place to himself, weird noises happen out of nowhere. Now what makes these occurrences extra strange is that they always seem to happen during the nighttime. Knowing when they usually occur, the man has his phone ready in hand and proceeds to record the following video. Mm, already no skeptical that this, these things happen. Like, I don't know of anything ever happening in like a pattern kind of else's way. home when this is captured. It's also when no one else is... I don't know. Hey, <laughs> Okay. The guy has a tattoo and it reminded me of my brother got a tattoo recently. My younger brother. I'm kind of jealous because I kind of always wanted a tattoo, but I, I just don't know what to get. My brother called me the other day, FaceTime me. He was like, look at this. He had a tattoo. It's cool. It's a, it's a cool tattoo. It's a very good first tattoo. Super fake. Already. We're already saying it's fake. Wow. I was willing to like let it play out a little bit, but but I must admit I was I was getting the same vibe, but I was willing to give it a minute. But yeah, it's like a really cool like um, first tattoo. I think he's got it in a good. He's got it like here, which I think is a good spot. Because I always thought like when you've just got one tattoo, it needs to be in a good spot. You know, when you have loads, it doesn't really matter where they are. But if you just got one, uh, it's like a cool tattoo. It's pretty minimal. Like I like it. It's a very cool first tattoo. Taps on. What who's put tap on? Who's done that? There's a small man hiding underneath the shelf. So wait, did the tap noise kick in? Okay, there was that. Oh, the light comes on by itself. My brain is so fucking stupid. I didn't even notice the light flicker. I mean that wholeheartedly. I did not notice the light flicker on and off like that the first time I watched it. Yeah, no, this is fake, bro. I must admit, I don't know how the tap came on. Unless someone's like hiding somewhere that he doesn't show. What the f oh, and he could slip out behind him. Yeah, no, I, yeah, no. Never mind. Wasn't the camera facing the light switch? I wouldn't be shocked if there's another light switch. Let's see the switch again. Oh, he doesn't show the switch again. Mysterious. Because I was like, if the switch, if the switch has been flipped in the other direction, so like, it, that switch has been flipped, that's harder to fake because like, I don't know how anyone could have pressed that switch after he pressed it. But if he turned back around, the switch was the same way he had pressed it. And it proves that the light was changed at another switch, proving there's another switch. You know? The bathroom faucet is left running as though someone or something had turned it on. The man shuts it off while seeming confused as to how it turned on by itself. He heads back to his room when eerily oh. the light switch, which he just yeah, turned like no on, one, is no one could have switched that off unless there's another switch. But he never shows the state of the switch again, so you can't see whether that switch has been flipped itself or whether 
another one has been. So it's very hard to determine. It's immediately that. turned off. It seems that whoever or whatever was on the other end of the hall had switched off the light. Now this wouldn't be the end of it, as only a few nights later, something just as creepy happens. Really? It's nighttime when the man recording hears banging noises outside his door. With his heart pounding in his, his ears, roommates are he fucking. records this. His roommates stop fucking. Okay, his door opened a bit. Yeah, yeah, sure. That seemed like there was a cut there. Yeah, I think there's a cut there, right? Doesn't that seem weird? Does that seem like a little cut to you guys? What do you think the... Seems like a cut. Whoa! What the fuck? Sorry. Whoa! Like something straight out of a horror movie, the man peeks out from his bedroom, peering into the darkness of the hallway to see if anyone's there. What Finding did he scream at? inside the bathroom, I still the can't man figure out that he walks back at. to his room, but stops in his tracks upon noticing the sudden mess in the kitchen. Right, uh, right after the cut. Appearing as though a massive earthquake had struck the place. Notice inside the bed. Oh wait, okay. Wait, let's see if we can figure out how he did this video because I think. Does he show the kitchen on the way in? Because that is the most bait thing, like showing that you have a pristine kitchen. Yeah, shows that he's got a pristine kitchen. I think there might even be a cut there, you know. Oh no, okay, no cut. Oh no, it's just the lighting changing so drastically. I don't think there is a cut. But then, he goes in the bathroom. He turns off the tap again, the same way as last time. So it's cool, but... And then... He turns that light off. There's, there's like a very fucking obvious cut there. It looks like... Someone said in chat it looks like a TikTok transition. They fucking nailed it. Oh, let's give it back a little bit. Here. Very obvious cut. There. Whoa! The like trash. something straight out of a horror movie, the man peeks out from his bedroom, peering into the darkness of the hallway to see if anyone's there. Finding nobody inside the bathroom, the man quickly walks toilet back this place to his weird. To be fair, my parents' toilet's been like that. room, but stops in his tracks upon noticing the sudden mess in the kitchen. Appearing as though a massive earthquake had struck the place, the man runs back into his room in full terror before ending the video. What happened that night has left him shaken up. It's unknown if the man continues to live inside the apartment, as no updates or new videos have been posted. But as with most videos, I'll let you come up with your own conclusions. Thank you. I think it's fake. This man's apartment. I'm pretty safe or in assuming might that this there be one's an fake, explanation for all that's happened. Massive earthquake. A chair fell. In this next video, there was a little bit more. Two friends are hosting a live open. stream when something pretty spooky is captured live. Oh, okay. Uh, we don't get any live things in here. That could be an interesting one. Live definitely makes me go, hmm, you know? This video often do live streams while playing video games late at night. It just so happened. Thanks to all the subs so far, by the way. Sorry, I, I feel like I haven't thanked anyone in a few minutes. Avio, hey, thank you for the 19 months. Uh, Arach and Naz, thank you for the Prime. Emerald Cake, thank you for the Prime. 
of go from the pick for 26 months. Thank took you. place during an all-nighter, or around <coughs> 5 in the morning, <coughs> a strange noise is heard in the kitchen. The two usually play in the living room, so the noise was close by when it happened. Did the you ever boys send a clip? I did. I did. It was a family member who was grabbing a morning Where snack. Is it? So they shrugged it off and didn't think much of it. But later on, something happens that grabs their full attention and prompts them to end the live stream immediately. While playing in the dark, this happens. Now what I'm curious about is why are they streaming themselves playing games with no gameplay footage? Or has he just cropped it? You know what I mean? That's what I'm confused about. How did my man notice it from there? Yeah, it is a bit weird. I mean, in the camera feed, maybe? But he's, if he's playing the game. At first, the fridge door seemingly opens on its own. A little bit weird. I don't know how you necessarily fake it, but he... He does very conveniently stand in the way of that for a sec, which I find interesting. Could be something well choreographed. At first. It's weird, but probably the most believable video. Oh, no, no, no. I think the ghost orb of the little kid is probably the most believable, but 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 this could this takes second The place. fridge door seemingly opens on its own, as though someone had gone over to grab a snack. I, I don't know how you would fake this, admittedly. Uh, live, mind you. Snack. No, without, like, decent production, which I don't think these two fucking boys have. At least that's what the two boys thought, considering that one of them has a brother who wakes up around this time to cook something up. Thinking that he left the fridge door open by accident, one of them gets up to close it. But as they walk back, this happens. Oh, so I had a ghost thing. A chair stream, swiftly right? moves on its own by more than a few inches, causing both friends to freeze in their uh, Yeah, I'd say you could even call that a couple it was feet. At this point, that a yeah, few that's... inches. This happens. That's more than a few. I'd say it's a couple feet. I'd say it's definitely more than a few inches, buddy. All right, don't undervalue a distance like that. I think. I think. I think. You know, it's a plenty of inches. Too many inches. One would argue. A chair swiftly moves on its own by more than a few. There is a string. This happens. A chair swiftly moves on its own. Was at home, by but as they walk back, this happens. A tra chair swiftly. Hmm. It was at this by more as they walk back, hmm. this happens. Is a it? chair swiftly to close curious. it, but as they walk back, this happens. A chair swiftly moves. Hold on, I'm gonna. Kind of like hops up a second before it moves. Is what I'm curious about. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. A chair swiftly moves on its own by more than a few inches, causing both friends to freeze in their Turn off the subtitles so we can see it more clearly. Good point. At first, the fridge door seemingly bought. The fridge door opened by accident. One of them gets up to close it. But as they walk back, this happens. A chair swiftly moves it's on like its own by more than a few inches, causing bold. both friends to freeze in their tracks. It was at this point that they both knew well that something video unexplainable had occurred. Oh, sorry, well made stream actually. It's a live thing you got to bear in mind. So you know, well done for the two boys. Supernatural. Viewers believe so too, but as always, I'll let you be the judge on that.
Had it's, something paranormal occurred? Or had something else happened here? It's one of the more believable ones we've watched. I'm going to be honest, especially today. It's full of fake shit today, man. My God. I mean, number one, what was that? Oh, the, 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 uh, the, the clown doll. Don't get me wrong. This video is kind of cool. Uh, but pretty doubtful. They all seem pretty faked. By far the most fake is this guy, uh, number four, you know, the guy who, the guy, the really religious guy who got knocked over and added a fucking chromatic aberration like it was a Tommy in it thumbnail. Uh, that pissed me off because I really believed it when the piano key was pressed. So that, that, that's made me mad. That's the least believable because, oh my God, I've been so sure something was faked. My God. Uh, so yeah, that's the most fake. Number four. What was number three again? Oh yeah, number three. Okay, no, actually, by far most faked, you could see the fucking editing was number two. That's one of the worst ones we've ever seen. You could literally see the jump cut. Number two is the worst. Then number four, because fuck off adding chromatic aberration in post. The most obvious, like, fake filter that isn't real. Like, that just gave you away instantly that you'd edited the thing. I actually would maybe argue this is... Actually, no, you, I'd still say number four is more fake than number two, even. But they're close. The Both of them are just blatantly fucking edited. Uh, four at least had the piano key beforehand, which I don't know how they did and is cool. Number number two just sucked. Uh, number five with the creepy doll. Uh, I, I, I've seen videos from this guy before and they seem pretty fake. But this last one with the bulb explodes, I don't know how they did that. Kind of cool. Like it. Uh, very cool video. Still convinced it's fake, however. Goes in number three. Uh, from least fake to most fake. Number two. Two goes into num uh, is is given to the two boys streaming. I don't know how they did that, but I'm pretty sure it's still fake. Uh, and the only one I think that might even be a little bit real is the ghost you orb of a little on kid with that, floating around the it? toys. Is there a beep? Was like a beep? Freaked me out a little bit. Is there a beep? Yeah, this one's kind of sweet. But Decides to leave this mysterious too. orb alone and call it. A so that freaked me out. Was there a beep? I thought it was the video. Maybe it was. It sounded like it might be out, outside as well. I think it just freaked me out a little bit. Either way, that's my tier list for today. And although we've only watched one, I'd encourage you to subscribe to uh, Bizarre Bub because I really do like this channel. Either way, take care, everyone. Hope you all have a great rest of your night. Bye-bye. Dino Duckles, thank you for the tier one. The worms are coming. What does this fucking mean? You guys are just saying shit. Worms aren't coming for me. Worms can do shit. I'd squish them. I'd squish them beneath my fucking big stomping boot. I'd, I'd crush them and. Oh, my little manifold. No, I, I'm so not going to say the last part. This pinworm's microbes lurk under your nails, ready to haunt your pantaloons forever. I'm a step on worms. I'd step on some fucking worms. I'd crush some worms beneath my fucking toes. I, I, I'd take out my bare feet and squish, squish some wiggling worms between my toes and post it online. For the world to see, I'd post it on Twitter.com. I'd take out my hot toes and I'd, I'd squish some wiggling worms between them and I'd post it on Twitter.com. Yeah, you want that? If the worms are coming, then the worms will be crushed between my wiggling toes, those wiggling little worms. My hot toes. My sexy toes. That's what'll happen to those wiggling Arthur, little worms. You, think you can insult me in my native language. Get a load of this guy. I was choosing to forgive you for your disrespect, mostly because I have no more money, but you have crossed the line. I will get you with the power of my sweet, smooth jazz. What? Shut up, man. You suck, anyway.